Hello. Just want to point out what I'm doing here away from what's given instruction. So I have this a pattern for the uh, bomber jacket, basic bomber jacket, and the pockets are normally on the top. I'll show you once what I've already made for a uh, um, a different garment, similar but exactly the same pocket position. Hold on a second. Here is the pocket position once you actually follow the instruction given. If it's just normally a patch pocket or a breast pocket, these are the ones that normally have in that pattern. But I want to change because I want to design something slightly different. So how I wanted it was a, a zip opening like this to each one of them. So I can add the pocket piece later to the inside. And uh, to do that, what you need slightly similar marking you had to use, you know. Earlier we, we have uh, another video, we show you how to take all the markings. And uh, uh, if you have a zip that is slightly longer, like I'm doing now, this zip is too long. But I want to use something longer, so I can actually put my hand in. If you can see, I have marked the length of of this zip from top to bottom and the the width of the zipper teeth or the zip teeth is going to be along this side but slightly longer than usual it actually comes all the way to the towards the bottom here so it doesn't matter because I want to make sure I can put my hand in comfortably keep my uh, uh, chest or heart warm in a, in a time in a winter if I wear this bomber jacket so so you see what you need is a zip first a uh, slightly longer where you can put your hand all the way through and then you extend that line definitely from top to bottom and then you cut in the middle right cut in the middle I think I'm gonna show you this part let me clear the table a little bit so I can put my video a little bit away but it's still away you can see it I hope you can still see it so here's my marking I made earlier and put a stitch line once that I marked so I can cut this right in the middle like any pocket position you cut with a little corner at the end of each top and the bottom so you can fold them all under and then press so once you have pressed this you can lay your zip under and top stitch like i have done here in the earlier one so let me quick press and come back to this. So I have done a quick press as you can see all the way along the stitch line and now I'm gonna hold you back on the hand here. So point out what I did earlier. I want my zip from the top. Can you see what I'm doing? Yes you can see. So now I just need to get a a thread, uh, uh, um, a single strand thread, and I uh, saw this. Hopefully, I have something I can find. So once you actually have laid them correctly, so you can have a quick tack. So it's hold it together in one place before you put in the machine. So it's not going to be too far away from the zip teeth because we only had 
the width of the thick teeth and a tiny bit more so you have to have a have it very close to the teeth not on top of it because then it wouldn't the zip wouldn't run smoothly so this is a way of tacking to hold it in place I'm gonna do this all around and then I'm gonna put it in the machine have a nice stitch but use the zip uh, foot when sewing this in the machine because you want to make sure um, that needle doesn't get you know if you use the other uh, other foot you can't actually sew a, a zip nice and smooth and now I want to go to the other side as well so it doesn't only have one side of it I want to make sure it's close and nicely done Okay, so we already saw. 